Today in our 2014 Ford Focus, we'll be installing the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11158. All right, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, it's nice and hidden up underneath our bumper cover here. The only part hanging down is our Class 1 inch and a quarter receiver and our safety chain loops right here. Now our hitch has a nice finished off appearance with this welded on collar at the end of it. it gives it a classy look and doesn't take away from the aesthetic purposes of the car. Now this hitch has a 200 pound max tongue weight capacity and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight capacity. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Ford Focus and see what the vehicle is capable of so you don't exceed the values of the hitch or the value of the car and cause damage to either one. Off to the side of our receiver here, we have our industry standard half inch diameter hitch pinhole. Now, if you're using this hitch for a non-trailer application, such as for a bike rack or cargo carrier, Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. We have those available separately on our website if you need to purchase one. And now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier, you're looking at about 11 inches from the ground to the top of the class one inch and a quarter receiver opening and about five inches from the center of the half inch diameter hitch pin hole to the rearmost point on the back bumper. All right, the first thing we need to do in order to install our hitch is temporarily lower our exhaust. In order to do that, we have two exhaust hangers, one on each side of our muffler, and each one's held in place with two 13 millimeter bolts. We'll move those. Now we'll take two of our small bolts, put our conical tooth washers on them, with the teeth facing away from the bolt head, going towards the hitch. And we can raise our hitch in position and temporarily install it with two of these bolts so we can mark and drill our other hole that we need. We'll just snug these down a little bit so our hitch is flush against the frame of the vehicle. Okay, with our hitch in position, We'll make a mark right in the center with the paint marker or marker. We'll do this on both sides. Okay, with both our marks made, we can remove the hitch now and drill our holes. Now we'll make a small pilot hole right where we made our mark. Now we'll enlarge our pilot hole to the final size of 15 30 seconds. We'll do the same for the other pilot hole too. All right, now that our holes are drilled, we need to enlarge this access hole here between the two bolt holes. This is on both sides of our vehicle, by the way, just so our carriage bolt will be able to fit through. Let's use a rotary tool to enlarge it slightly. Now we'll take one of our pull wires, go through the hole we drilled, and come out our access hole here between our two threaded bolts that already exist in the frame rail. Now we'll take our spacer plate, install it on the pull wire, insert it in the frame rail, thread our carriage bolt on, Push it into the hole and pull it on down. And we'll do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch up over the exhaust and install it with the flange nut on the bolt that we just dropped through the hole that we drilled. All right. Now with the bolt with the conical tooth washer on that we used to hold the hitch up originally. We'll go through our exhaust hanger, through our hitch, and thread it back into the weld nut. We'll do the same for all four of the small bolts that hold the exhaust on. All right, now we'll snug down all our hardware. Okay, now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. 
I just want to point out that our larger bolts get a lot more torque than our smaller ones, so make sure you torque them to the amount specified properly. And that completes our installation of the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11158, on our 2014 Ford Focus. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.